What'd you make a tonight, uh, especially, you know, they were playing pretty physical in the first quarter, I thought, and then, and, you know, you weren't, you, you were coming out a lot more aggressively than I thought the other game, but uh, he was, uh, he was seeming to have a lot of trouble with you on the other end, too. Um, did, did you really, uh, especially with Jared Allen going out, did you really key in on Mobley tonight? I was just trying to be aggressive, try to make as many uh, uh, right plays as I can and good decisions as I can. Um, you know, obviously you're going to make reads, you're going to try to put the the defender that you want to go at, but at the end of the day, I feel like Mo Blit, Allen, both seven foot, really long, can block shot, can move their feet, so it doesn't really make a difference. Uh, uh, but at the end of the day, if you have the opportunity to be able to kind of, you know, put them in a Put them, no, it's okay. put them in a, a position that they have to move their feet and they have to kind of uh, follow you, hand off, screen, guard the pick and roll, then you roll, then they have to come back and guard you. Keep them moving. I think it just makes their uh, their job way harder because they got to guard the, the ball handler and uh, me in the role, so you just got to make a decision. I'm just trying to play... Uh, Good basketball and get my teammates involved and uh, try to be as possible. But I was in uh, trying to focus in Mobley uh, as much. I was just trying to play basketball. One of Brooks' six blocks was in the th third quarter, and it leads to a transition bucket. And that bucket is what gave you all the lead, and you never lost it after. Aside from the simple fact that he denies a shot, how impactful can those plays be? Th those blocks that he has, how impactful can they be? They're big. Um, Big. It was unbelievable. I think he had like eight blocks a day. Uh, he's been playing unbelievable. Uh, his effort on defense is uh, incredible. Uh, him to keep doing that, like he makes us uh, so much better. He makes our deep defense so much. Better. Uh, it just makes it tough for anybody that has the ball. Uh, but just you know, intimidated to get in the paint whenever Brook is in there, uh, which is. It gives time for the the point guards and the the guards and the wing defense, but uh, at the end of the day, like as I said, he was. And there's times in the game that you kind of like look and you're like, Brooke, go get it, and you're like, oh, I'm yelling at Brooke. He's he's blocked like eight shots, he's contested like 15, but you just get used to it so much that he's always there to protect you. You know, you kind of take it for granted, but I'll try as much as I can to not take it for granted and, uh, you know, realize and acknowledge the, you know, the, the hard work that, and how much effort he puts on defense. Uh, and uh, he definitely uh, helped this team be great and keeps our defense in a high level whenever he plays like that. He gets you a lob, uh, and I think he threw it from, like, right inside. I know um, when I've talked to Chris about when he lobs you the ball, there's some sort of eye contact that you have. That's how you know he, Chris is going to lob it to you. In, in that particular moment with Javon, was there any eye contact? Did you know that he was going to try to lob it to you? How, did, how does that work? No, no. He just, um, just got to trust. <clears throat> He's trust. You know, he got to trust me. I got to trust him. To, uh, in my position, I cannot let him down. You know, if uh, a point guard... Um, throw the ball from half court to you, you got to get it, you know, uh, force the, force a turnover, uh, because he, he lose it again. And, uh, you know, I just try to jump as high as, uh, as I could and try to go get it. Um, obviously with Chris, we've built so much, uh, chemistry. We've been together for 10 years. He's thrown the ball for me uh, probably like 300 times, you know, and if I don't get it one time, he knows that. If it's there, he's still going to throw it for me, to me. But uh, with Javon, you try to keep building that connection, that chemistry, that hey, if you throw me the ball, I'm going to do my best to uh, to get it. And it was an incredible pass by, by him. Just what changed in terms of y'all's intensity to be able to, I think, 23-2, to two, first eight plus in the third quarter? What did y'all just do differently? Was it just a matter of effort, intensity, or what? Um, no, it was. To be very honest with you, we were aggressive. We were making right plays. Um, we had a little bit luck in our side to uh, make some of uh, our shots. Uh, but 
was all over the place. I think the guards did a great job just making them as tough as possible, denying a couple times Garland and uh, Donovan Mitchell, but like Brooke was incredible. Brooke contested every every shot for us and uh, Canada wasn't able to score and it gave us momentum. We were able to rebound the ball, go the other way and uh, just read the game, make good plays. And as I said, we had a little bit of luck on the, in our side and we was able to knock down some shots, get downhill and we was able to get that momentum and uh, keep it keep it going. But Guards, you know, defending the pick and roll, and Brook just contesting every every shot in, uh, on the defensive end. <clears throat> um, the lob started two minutes, less than two minute stretch for you. You had, you had nine points in that third to, to flip the lead. Brook had a three in there as well. But what? I know there were stops. Was it all just about transition, or did you kind of feel something there, or see something with space where it was like, okay? on this a little bit and and kind of take um no i just as i said try to make good reads try to make let my instinct take over um you know and try to play within the game um, there was a lot of gaps that i was able to uh take and uh create you know make something happen uh but i wasn't like okay now i'm just gonna go the, throughout the whole game 48 minutes but um I think just like everybody was moving, everybody was guarding, everybody was rebounding the ball and we were able to run through so many open gaps for everybody. You know, for me in transition, guys were in there ready to shoot, you know, Brook was trailing, like he was just clean, you know, and that's why we we took the lead. What um did you have a conversation followed you to the corner and then maybe half court? What was that in forever? I think and they are, back in the day when I was like 16, 17, I was, I was being denied, you know, uh, I wasn't able to get the ball, but like in the, in my NBA career, I've never seen, like been half court and uh, been denied, you know, I felt like uh, Steph Curry for a second, but uh, it's, 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 it's fun. It's part of basketball. I don't know how he did it. Uh, but uh, my teammates took advantage of it because uh, there's no shot blocker, so you just play four against four. Were you wondering how far you could take them back? Like, it felt like... I was, I was surprised. Like, I looked at coach, then I looked at George, then I looked at the referee, I was like, what the hell is going on over here? You know, uh, it never happened to me before. Um, but as I said, my teammates took advantage of it. Like, I, I realized, I'm like, okay, he's on, he's on me. They can just play four against four, and there's no shot blocker in the paint. Like, you just the same as Brooke. You know, you just stuff to get in the paint. Um, and he wasn't there. I think we were able to score a three or maybe score a layup. I don't remember, but that, I, I remember court. Um, I'm curious for you. I think that was probably the worst three game stretch you've from the line, where it's like four of 11, four of 15, five of 12, and then you're six of the night, 10 of 14 tonight. You've messed with your routine a little bit. I know that's not necessarily something you love, season, but I'm just curious, kind of, what you're going through there at the line, and kind of what has led led to some of the changes you've made and the confidence that you had tonight. I did not make a change. Um, routine still the same: one dribble, spin the ball, one dribble, shoot the ball. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, how worse can you get? You know. Uh, I just trust, trust myself, I believe in myself, I work extremely hard, and there's going to be days that you're going to miss, and there's going to be days that you're going to make, you know, and I hope that, uh, you know, uh, luck is on my side, and I need to make them when uh, it really counts, you know, I try to learn as much as I can from my mistakes, uh, and uh, obviously, you know, I acknowledge that, I think for like two, three games, I didn't shoot it from the line well, uh, and I'm, I'm okay with that. You know, I I acknowledge it and I you know I take responsibility of it and I own it because that's the only way I can improve and move forward. And you know, um, try I try to do better. You know, uh, I work harder. I shoot more. I shoot before the game. I shoot after the game. And uh, I put even you know when uh, things don't work even harder. And uh, sometimes it translates to the game and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm okay with that. Um, at the end of the day. My routine is still the same. Spin the ball, dribble once, and uh, shoot it. And uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to leave 
happy with the outcome. I can't control the outcome. I can only control my technique and uh, my my mindset and my my belief. And my belief is very high. I believe in myself. I believe in the work. I, I there's no there's no fear. I don't miss free throws or uh, free throws or six free throws or eight free throws or ten free throws. I'm still going to drive the ball. I'm still going to go to the lane. I'm scared of the free throw line. <coughs> You know, I'm okay with going 0 for 15, failing, you know, because that means I tried, you know, uh, I'm not okay with quitting, you know, so, you know, I'm still going to be aggressive, I'm still going to try to drive the ball, and um, I know I'm going to get, I'm going to create contact, I know I'm going to get a lot of times in the free throw line, and uh, I trust my work, and I can knock down some shots, and if I don't, uh, okay, I'm okay with it. Giannis, playing off that, did Game 6 help improve that mindset of what you can do at the free throw line? Uh, no, no. Game 6 was just another game. Uh, a big game for the organization, a big game for, uh, a big game for my career. Uh, but uh, no, it's not a game. That was 48 minutes. You know, I've spent hours and hours and hours practice facility in the gym at home that I have um, in Greece uh, working and trying to uh, you know improve my I shouldn't have been but, but um, that was a game that we needed to make shots we needed to score the ball and uh, there was luck by my side and uh, a lot of belief that I can make the shots and I was able to make it make uh, a bunch of shots that night but it wasn't almost after that night oh my confidence was so high and um i really myself now no no it was just uh just another game you know good or bad it's just another game <coughs> he asked you about evan matching up tonight but i'm just curious about over the past couple of years or two years of playing evan um just kind of what's your thoughts on him and his game uh impression is he left on you um great player um has a bright future in this league. Uh, plays the right way. Plays hard. Um, that do everything for his team to uh, win. Uh, seven feet, six eleven. I don't know. I think six eleven, seven feet. Um, there he can move pretty well. Feels are pretty good, and uh, you know it's a matter of time. You know that he's gonna have a breakout uh, season and uh, be one of the best. Rest, you know power forwards in the league, you know, uh, but it's up, it's up to him, it's up to him if he's putting the work, uh, but, uh, you know, the the skill set and uh, the body, the body is there, you know, and it's up to him if he's going to work hard and uh, to, you know, insert himself in the, in the among the best in the league, uh, but uh, the skill set in his body, it's, it's, it's there, and he's been playing well for games, and um, he, has a, he has a bright future. Yes.